This episode of Ties I Help is brought to you by GoToAssist. What's up guys, today is the first day of the week that I will be using the Nokia Lumia 900 uh, Windows phone. I'm super excited about this to try out a new phone. I've got some awesome accessories here with it. If you didn't see my video that I posted about a week or a week and a half ago, whatever it was, I've got some inner uh, earbuds called Purity, uh, made by Monster. I've got the Purity HD over the ear headphones, uh, which are actually right here. Uh, these look sweet. I uh, love, love, love the color of these. Here's the earbuds themselves. I uh, love the wiring on uh, both of these. They're like flat wiring. I've got some Nokia uh, Play 360 wireless Bluetooth speakers here. Uh, those are pretty sweet. You can see both these right here. You can have these uh, both playing at the same time. Uh, they're pretty sweet. Uh, there's the box that I got with the Nokia Lumia uh, 900. And there is the phone itself. Uh, so basically what I'm going to be doing is as I go throughout the week, I'm going to vlog little circumstances or uh, things that come up that make the Windows phone uh, sweet or, or bad, things that, I, things that I do and don't like about it. Uh, and it should be a pretty fun video. And I'll also show you these accessories and stuff like that uh, as we go on. So uh, let's get started. All right, so I figured I would start out showing you the hardware, uh, the device itself, uh, running through everything on it. Uh, so over here on the front, we've got the 4.3 inch AMOLED display. Uh, it's really nice. It, so far, what I've noticed, it's not super, super high quality, but it is a nice size display, 4.3 inch. Uh, it's supposed to actually be also really strong. I've seen a video, they took like a hammer and a nail and was just beating on it. Not super hard, uh, but it can withstand a lot of force. I'm not going to be trying no hammer and nails on this thing because I don't want to break it. Uh, but uh, it's supposed to be really strong and I will uh, make sure I put it to the test and use this thing a lot. Uh, so that's the display. You've got the, the Windows button right there. you got a back button and the search button. Uh, over here on the side you've got the power button which if you press that uh, you can go ahead and slide to unlock, or well, not slide to unlock, but slide up to unlock. I'm so used to the iPhone. Uh, you got the volume buttons over here, uh, up and down, and then also right here, you got the camera button, which if you're on the phone uh, and it's unlocked, you can go ahead and press that and it'll take you directly to the camera, or you can hold it in for a few seconds and it vibrates and then takes you straight uh, to the camera. Now let's take it to the back while we're talking about the camera. Uh, on the back we have uh, the 8 megapixel camera, shoots 720p HD video, 30 frames per second, and then you've got the LED flash there on the back. Um, here on the bottom you got the little speaker, up here on the top you got the headphone jack, uh, and then the place where you plug it in to charge it, and then there is the SIM card tray. So that's pretty much the hardware. Uh, as far as the color, I absolutely love this color. My favorite color is blue, and I just love this color of blue. Um, I love the screen so far. I have been using it for a few days, but not like as my main phone like I'm going to be doing uh, in this video. So yeah, it's pretty sweet. There is a uh, overview of the hardware and um, what it looks like, and I actually compare it to my iPhone, so just so you can get an idea of how big uh, the size is uh, compared. So that's a, a pretty good size difference. Like it, the iPhone fits in its screen. So that's uh, that's pretty cool. And it's nice to have a big screen. I'm excited for when the iPhone gets a bigger screen. But yeah, there you go. There's a an overlook at the uh, the hardware. So I figured I'd go ahead and show you my home screen now that I have it set up. Show you all my apps and pretty much how uh, this works. So on my home screen, uh, it comes with a lot of other stuff. But this is how I have it customized with mine. So I've got my phone, uh, messages, which is text, uh, Twitter, Facebook, Internet Explorer, which is the browser this comes with. People which is all your contacts and stuff like that. Uh, I've got Spotify, Marketplace, that's where you're going to get all your apps and stuff like that. i got the YouTube app, which I downloaded. Uh, Xbox Live, which is where you're going to get all your games and stuff. Uh, then I've got two Yahoo Mails. It actually adds them to the home screen. There's no individual mail app, which I'll actually get to uh, later. So there's a calendar app. you got pictures, AT&T Navigator, which is like GPS. Uh, i got settings. Uh, and then I've got Evernote and then me, which kind of shows like my social feed uh, and stuff like that. So that's pretty much my home screen. You can scroll over to the right or you can just tap this little arrow. Uh, and it will take you over here, which is all of your other stuff you don't want pinned to your home screen. Uh, and you can see everything there. you got settings where you can all uh, customize everything uh, that you want to. Your uh, Wi-Fi, you can turn that off, Bluetooth, um, you can, battery saver can be turned on, brightness, keyboard, you can pretty much customize everything from here or change your settings and stuff like that. Um, let's go back to the home screen, I'll actually show you how you can uh, customize this. So if I didn't want this Twitter icon here at the top or I want it removed, all I have to do is tap on it and hold, sort of like iOS, uh, and I can just go ahead and tap that little uh, pin button right there and it'll remove it. Or if I want to, I can drag it down uh, and it will uh, relocate wherever I want to and it'll move these out of the way. So I pretty much just uh, 
uh, organize this how I want to. I've got it set up uh, with all my main stuff I use here at the top, Twitter, Facebook, uh, stuff like that, which I'll show you, uh, and I'll get into apps later. I just wanted to give you kind of a brief overview of how this works, and if any of these things over in here, uh, actually when you download stuff, this is where it shows up, or it'll add it to your home screen. Uh, if you wanted to put any of this stuff on your home screen, all you got to do is tap and hold, uh, and you can pin to start, and you can uninstall and rate and review and everything uh, from there. So there's a basic overview of how the OS works, and so far I really like it. It's, it's smooth. It's fluid. I just love the scrolling uh, and just how it works. It's, it just seems really smooth. It's different from what I'm used to on iOS, uh, but so far I'm uh, actually really, really liking it. One of the things that I use my phone for a lot, which obviously most people do, is text messaging. So I figured I'd go ahead and give you a quick little overview of that. Uh, so here's the text messaging app. If there's more, I could actually scroll through these. Uh, you got all your threads of conversations here. Uh, you can actually scroll to the right and you can have messaging with uh, Facebook friends, stuff like that. If you tap right here, uh, you can set to connect it uh, and turn Facebook chat on and off. I'll actually just open up a conversation so you can see what this looks like. Uh, so that's pretty much uh, what the SMS uh, app looks like. It's pretty nice. Uh, right here, you can actually attach a file by hitting that button so I can go through my cameras uh, and stuff like that. There's somebody revving up a Harley near me, uh, near my house. You can actually do text to speech. Yo, 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 what's up? Go. Let's see if it does it really well. It's not as good as Siri, I will say that. I played around with it. Oh, it actually did get, it heard me say speech. Yo, 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 what's up? So that's pretty good, but it's definitely not uh, as good as Siri understanding my voice. Uh, but it does work. I have used it a good bit. Uh, I did not mean to send that. <laughs> He's going to be like, what? What does that mean? Um, but yeah, it's really nice. One thing I love about this is the keyboard. I don't know what it is. It, it's actually kind of like Android. Uh, I'm going to type something. Hey, uh, what? And as you see, it's starting to fill in all the stuff. So I can, if you want to type faster, you can just say whatever if I was going to type that. Obviously, it's not picking anything up there. Uh, but yeah, it, I don't know. It's just... I love the keyboard on this. It's really easy to type. Uh, it does have a different layout than iOS, what I'm used to, like some of the uh, the commas and exclamation marks and stuff like that. But And, and one thing that kind of bugged me, which it's just because I'm used to iOS, uh, is that the send button is right here rather than right there. Uh, this actually, this button right here goes down, uh, like return button, and this button right here actually is a backspace. So they're kind of close together. So I noticed a lot of times when I was hitting uh, or trying to hit uh, the backspace, I was just going like that and not uh, backspacing. Uh, and I'm kind of not used to it automatically auto-correcting me. Sometimes it does, and then sometimes it doesn't. So that's something uh, I'm getting used to also. But as far as typing, I'm pretty fast on this keyboard. I pretty much instantly picked it up, uh, and it was pretty easy for me. So, so far, I'm liking the text messaging uh, and the keyboard uh, on the Windows Phone. One thing I really like about this with Windows Phone is it makes it super easy to set up your contacts. And if you have a lot of contacts, uh, this can save you a ton of time uh, if you have Facebook and uh, if you have your friends on Facebook. Uh, so I'll go ahead and open up the People app for you, which is pretty much the Contacts app. Here's all my contacts right there. I can scroll through all those. Uh, and here is what's new. They actually uh, show you Twitter, Facebook, and Windows Live. And you can customize these to show uh, whatever you want. If you just tap right there, you can set it to show all of them uh, or just one of them. It's not really the best browsing experience, in my opinion, for Facebook and Twitter. Uh, but it is a quick little way uh, to see uh, what's going on. And if you're selective, with who you follow and who you're friends with on Facebook, that'll be even better for you. Um, also, you've got your little recent uh, images, or actually these are recent people I've looked at. Uh, back to the contacts. What's so cool about this is this is actually pretty much all of my Facebook friends. Obviously, I don't like uh, have a ton of friends like most people do on Facebook. I don't just accept anyone. I'm really like picky about who I'll add as a friend on Facebook, which actually works really well for me. Uh, you don't have to integrate with Facebook contacts. You can actually tap this little settings button right here and turn that off. But for me, it worked perfectly because a lot of these people have their phone numbers on their Facebook, and since I'm friends with them, it shows that to me. So when I added them, uh through the Facebook connection, it pretty much set up my contacts for me. Uh, and a lot of these people, if they did have their phone number on it, all I had to do was go uh, and type their number in and add it and save it to their contacts. So that's really, really cool. Uh, it makes it so fast to add all your contacts. Now, people with like 800 friends, you're obviously going to want to turn that uh, Facebook connection off as far as your contacts. And it's not hard to add a contact if you want to. All you have to do is press the little plus button right there, uh, hit new contact, or you can actually even make a new group. And uh, then you can fill out everything here with their email, their phone, their ringtone, you fill out some more info if you hit other and then you can even add a photo and another cool thing about that is with Facebook integration it already adds their photos uh, to there and it stays up to date so that's I just thought that was really cool uh, I like having photos of my contacts but I don't like going through the process of being like hey can I take a picture of you to have you as a 
or have a photo for you as when you call me or whatever. So I don't know. I just thought that's pretty cool, uh, and it makes it super fast, or at least for me, uh, to set up the contacts on the phone. One thing that I have found I do not like about uh, Windows Phone is the email. Um, now this is just maybe just my situation, but for me, I, I literally have like 15, 20 emails because I've got to make um, email accounts, not emails, um, because I got to make an account for every new YouTube channel or Twitter or something like that that I start just so I can have my emails organized. I really only like use two email accounts where I actually reply back to. Um, I've got my personal email account and then I have my business email account. So those are only two that I really use to like reply. Um, but this is how I set it up. Because now why I don't like it is because it actually adds an icon to your home screen. Uh, for example, right here, this is one of my uh, emails and I don't want it on here. So what I have to do is actually remove that. Uh, and then here I've got my personal and my business. Uh, there's my business, there's my personal. So those are the two I actually use. I do have those on my home screen. But if I want all my other emails, I actually have to go over here. Uh, mainly what I just do is just check these. Uh, and I've got more right now. I just didn't want to go through and want to add all of them. Because really all I do is check these and see if there's any emails in there like from YouTube or anything like that. Because um, a lot of these are just for YouTube accounts. Um, but yeah, it'll have all my emails over in here, which I've still got a lot more to add, obviously. Because I've literally got like 15 email accounts on my iPhone that I just check. Like I don't really... Uh, reply or anything like that. Just just refresh and see what's uh, what's new and if I got any like reports or anything like that. Um, but yeah, the email on here for me at least in my situation it doesn't work uh, that well uh, just for me. But that everybody doesn't have 15 email accounts. Most people only have like one or two. Uh, I just wish they had kind of like one email account, sort of like the iOS does. Uh, or one email app so you can add all of your accounts under one thing but it is nice uh, to just have it uh, really quick on my home screen just to go straight to uh, that email right there and uh, pull it up so it's downfalls and uh, good things to it and another thing is iOS doesn't have like attachments uh, for this if I wanted to write a new email uh, I can actually go ahead and tap right there and go ahead and add as many attachments and pictures and stuff uh, as I want or iOS it's really complicated if you try to do it you can only uh, do it from the photos app if I wanted to send a picture and then I can't attach another one with it I have to like copy uh, and paste it into the email which is annoying and then add another one it, it just gets complicated with this you can add attachments and stuff like that uh, really easily um, through the email app I like the camera on this thing, but it's kind of awkwardly placed for me. Sometimes, like when I'm holding it in my hand, my finger will kind of get in the way when I'm taking a picture. Uh, it's not too bad. You kind of just got to find a different way of holding it. Maybe it's just because I'm used to my iPhone. Um, but yeah, it's nice, and I like having the button over here on the side dedicated to the camera. Like if it's in a lock state like it is now, just hold the button in for like two seconds, and then it'll take you straight to the camera app. Or if you're just on a lock screen, uh, or not the lock screen, but the home page or anywhere else, you can just press that little button and it'll take you directly there. Uh, so this is what the camera app looks like. It's nice. You can zoom in with a little plus right here, zoom out with that. Um, you got settings. Uh, you can take pictures there and then video here. If I tap that, that shows up. And actually start taking a video, you press the button up here on the top, just like this. So it starts recording and you can actually see how many seconds you're recording right there on the video. Go ahead and stop that. Uh, if you want to take a picture, let's go back to pictures here. Uh, just go ahead and actually press. And what it does is it taps to focus where you uh, tap. And it also goes ahead and takes the picture. Now if you want to get to your camera roll, you can just scroll up. Uh, there's a picture I just took. There's a video I just took. I'll actually show you some video. Here's a video I filmed uh, outside of my house. Uh, this is with the back facing camera. It does have a camera on the front here also right there. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's like just VGA, like the same quality as the iPhone. As you see, or may be able to tell, it looks really, really nice. It's good quality. Uh, just the only thing is, it is uh, not very good with stabilization, I noticed. Like, it's kind of shaky uh, when I'm walking around, which I do a lot with my phone. Um, another thing I had with video, or, or a problem I had with it, is you can't upload uh, to YouTube very easily. I had to actually take this, uh, the videos that I recorded, put it into my SkyDrive, which uh, you can use for free, uh, and then download it on my computer, and then upload to YouTube. So there's not like a direct option like there is on the iPhone uh, to upload to YouTube. You can just share, uh, share on Facebook, or uh, delete. And share actually lets you uh, just send it uh, in an email, or you can upload it to uh, SkyDrive, like I mentioned before. But I like it. Uh, it's just, uh, for me, it doesn't work well with uh, video. Uh, pictures also look nice on the back-facing camera. I'll go ahead and show you that really quick. Uh, a few pictures that I took around my house outside. Uh, so there's a picture of my tree outside. Uh, it looks really nice. It may be out of focus or not colored right on my like with my camera, but uh, trust me, it looks nice. 
Uh, so there's a picture of me I took outside. Uh, there's some grass. It looks really nice. It's like uh, kind of depth of field. Like this is blurry back here because I tapped to focus. Uh, there's some uh, bushes. Uh, and then there's a video I filmed. So yeah, it looks nice. I like the camera. Uh, the front facing camera, pretty much the same as the iPhone, back facing camera. Uh, a little bit less quality, I'd say, than the iPhone, but it's still uh, really, really nice, and I like it. Now let's talk about the browser, because everybody's got to browse the web on their phone. Unfortunately, it is named Internet Explorer, uh, which if they named something else for me, it would be automatically cooler in my book, but uh, maybe it's just because I'm a, a Chrome kind of person, and I feel like Internet Explorer is outdated. Uh, but the browser itself isn't that bad. Uh, you got the address bar down here. You got a little refresh button right there. As you see, I got CNN loaded up right here. It does have a mobile version of the website you can tap right there the little dot 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 um, you can see all your stuff you got settings pin to start uh, where you can actually pin that page to the start you can share the page add to favorites uh, you get your favorites recent and then tabs tab browsing is also in here uh, it works like that uh, not the best tab browsing because you got to tap tap and then pick your tab uh, but it is uh, a nice browser it works it's pretty simple uh, it's nothing too amazing uh, I have used it and uh, it, it worked for me uh, and then also if you want to uh, Google search or not actually Google search it's actually Bing search you can hit the little uh, search button right there and it will take you straight to it and then it's got some quick access buttons uh, for local which is like it's like a, it shows you some good places to eat and things to do uh, music there's a little eye uh, for uh, scanning barcodes and stuff like that uh, or scanning text so you can actually search that so that's nice and then it also has uh, voice search hello testing testing let's see how uh, that works I'm not sure how okay it actually worked uh, and uh, yeah that's pretty much it that's the web browser and then the, the quick little button to Bing search again uh, I like Google uh, rather than Bing but uh, Bing does work and it is nice to look at uh, and it works uh, just fine now let's talk about apps and games because that's one of the most important parts of owning a smartphone I've got my Windows phone here uh, right beside my iPhone so I can actually compare to you and show you how the Windows phone has worked well for me as far as apps and games uh, compared to my iPhone so I've got my phone and then I've got my messages obviously those come on my iPhone I've got Twitter and Facebook there's Twitter and Facebook I've got Spotify uh, there's Spotify I've got my marketplace, my market, my app stores over here on my phone, so that's where you're going to get all your new apps. I've got Evernote, there's Evernote, I've got to have that. i got YouTube, which I actually had to download on the Windows phone, but there it is on the iPhone. Um, then I've got Xbox Live, which actually connects to Xbox Live, which the iOS uh, or iPhones have uh, the Game Center, which is nowhere near as good as Xbox Live, obviously. I've got my email, I've got my maps, so they got AT&T Navigator and uh, Maps. I've got Calendar, and then I've got Pictures. So as you see on my home screen, I've got pretty much the same apps that I do uh, on my iPhone. Now if I scroll over, so you can see on my other apps, I've got some apps like uh, ESPN, which is supposedly really nice. I haven't checked that out just because I'm not a big sports fan. I've got Google Plus installed, uh, Netflix, uh, Slacker Radio, Tango Video Calls, that's sort of like uh, Skype, uh, Weather, Yellow Pages Mobile. Uh, now if you compare that to my iOS or my iPhone, you see I have a ton more apps here and a lot of these are also in folders which have a lot more apps in them so there's obviously way more apps installed on my iPhone I've had it for longer um, but I actually go into the marketplace so you can just see that there is still a lot of apps uh, just nowhere near as many compared uh, to iOS or Android so I actually go into apps you can see some of these and they got all kinds of categories we'll go into uh, social uh, so you can see that they got tons of apps and you can organize them by top free uh, new uh, and then go back to categories um, Let's go back, back, and then we'll actually show you the games. So you can see that there is a lot of different categories of games. Uh, action, adventure, card and board, uh, classic, educational, uh, music, sports, shooter, role playing. I'll actually go into racing and flying just so you can see that there is a lot of games. Here's all the ones that connect through Xbox Live. Uh, here's all the top games. Uh, so you can see like just that there is a lot of uh, top flying and racing games. Uh, that's not a that's a pretty specific category. I did hit the bottom there, but there's a lot of apps and games to choose from. I think for most people, Windows Phone is going to do the job as far as games because I know people do play games a lot on their smartphone. You're going to find en enough games to waste enough time uh, on Windows Phone. Just it's just not as diverse as uh, Android and iOS is. But for me, it's worked just fine, and I've had pretty much all the apps I use. Uh, on my iPhone, on my Windows phone. Now before I give you my final thoughts and wrap up, let's take one last look at our sponsor for this video, GoToAssist. Working in IT can be unpredictable and challenging. There are people who need your help right away, pulling you in several directions at once, and things can break down at any moment. And that's why you should check out GoToAssist by Citrix, so you can stay on top of it all. GoToAssist is S-A-A-S based.
based and is purpose built to give you more control of your IT world. You can use the world class remote support module to solve your users problems quickly from anywhere. And go to assist monitoring gives you customizable dashboards displaying performance reports of all network servers and desktops. Plus proactive alerting allows you to fix small issues before they become big problems. Go to assist is easy to use sets up in minutes and is from Citrix a trusted leader in IT. If you want to make your complicated IT world easier it's going to help you out because you can access it from anywhere on your Mac, your PC, your web browser or even your iPad and you have everything in control all in one place. Sign up for your special 30 day free trial today. Visit gotoassist.com, click the try free button and enter promo code TAI. Again that's gotoassist.com, promo code TAI. So I've been using the Lumia 900 for a week now and it's been a fun, great learning experience. Uh, using a new phone has been awesome. I love the phone itself. Uh, the hardware is just amazing. I love having the bigger screen and, and the color of it is awesome. I love that C in blue. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Uh, it's been fun uh, learning Windows Phone and just learning a new operating system. I love the, the fluid scrolling and just how everything uh, works and looks on it. It just looks nice and it, it's been fun uh, using this as my main phone for the last week. Obviously it can't replace my iPhone but it's definitely a great alternative. Every time I did bring uh, the Lumia with me and use it uh, for the last week I have brought my iPhone with me. Uh, just for things like iMessage and a few things that I'm uh, so used to doing on my iPhone uh, that I knew I couldn't do on the Windows phone. But it's been a, a great alternative and definitely I could easily continue using uh, the Lumia 900 as my main phone. But obviously I'm an iPhone fanboy at heart. I'm going to stick with that. Uh, but I definitely do prefer this over Android. Uh, just my personal preference. I know a lot of you guys out there like Android. A lot of you guys like iOS. Uh, but for me personally, uh, Windows Phone is coming in second as, as far as the three. Uh, at least from what I've used. And I have used Android. Don't think I haven't. It, they're all great. But uh, Windows Phone is definitely coming in second so far for me. Uh, thank you to Monster and Nokia for hooking me up with these headphones. Uh, they give me the over-ear headphones. And then uh, the in-ear earbuds are expensive. But they are freaking nice. And I love that they match. Um, the color it's sweet to be using this phone and, and having the matching headphones with them they sound great and uh, they've made my experience with Windows Phone and the Lumia 900 even better uh, and then these Play 360 speakers are freaking awesome uh, they hooked me up with two of these so I've got them sitting beside my computer I've used those for Spotify and stuff like that uh, you can have them playing both at the same time so you get double the audio coming at you um, and they last for 20 hours on a full charge. They are completely wireless. You connect to them uh, through Bluetooth, so that's freaking awesome. I've loved using those. Uh, they've also made my experience better. So yeah, uh, if you're looking and you're in the market for a new phone, I definitely suggest you check out uh, the Lumia 900 if you're not uh, interested in something like the iPhone or you have an iPhone and uh, you're tired of using it or even if you have Android and you're tired of using it, definitely check uh, this out. And They're not paying me to say that. Uh, that is personally my opinion. Uh, I've had an awesome time using it uh, for the last week. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this and my experience uh, with the Lumia uh, 900. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you click the like button down below. I really appreciate it and it helps me out a ton. Uh, also, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace!